I'm on Tim's Ford Lake this morning. It's early June, and I'm testing the setup on my Blue Sky Boat Works 360 Pro. I've, I've had it several months, and I really, really like it. I've been crappie fishing. I've been live bait striper fishing, lots of different things, and I've been doing some slow trolling. But one of the things I wanted to do was to duplicate what I do a lot in my striper boat, which I've had for 16 years, if I'm looking for fish, and that's to troll umbrella rigs at two and a half miles an hour. So the trip today is specifically to do that. I'll be using my Motor Guide XI3 trolling motor that has the GPS function, and I have a 100 amp hour lithium battery. Now, what I need to be able to do is to pull these umbrella rigs at two and a half miles an hour, and that speed's really critical. And so the question's gonna be, do I have enough battery to do this? So that's really what I'm trying to do today. You can see the remote for the trolling motor in my left hand. It's actually on a lanyard that's around my neck, so it's always accessible. And of course, that gives me the ability to control exact speed, a heading, all those kinds of things. Or in fact, I could spot lock if I wanted to. So it's, it's a really good way to control the boat. All right, here's our first fish of the day. Look how he's been in that rod. He's really tearing up that rod holder. Now what I'm gonna do is actually swivel around and face the back of the boat to fight the fish. Now that rod is an eight and a half foot, medium heavy Okuma rod. It says salmon on it. And, and that's a 30 series Okuma reel. And the line is 80 pound uh, Power Pro braid and it's the depth hunter. So it has different colors. And that way it's easy to determine how much line you've let out. So you can fish real consistently that way. This is a great way to fight the fish. My feet were actually on the back porch part of the boat. Notice that even while I'm fighting the fish, the trolling motor is controlling the boat, and so it keeps it moving. So now remember, there's another rod on the other side, and I can't stop, or the umbrella rig may end up in a tree. So the trolling motor takes care of that, and of course, I've got a remote there if I need to make minor adjustments. It's real easy to do. That's a nice striper to start the day off with. Now the rest of the clips in this video will have the camera facing the back. Looks like we got another fish on. Whoops. You can see how good a rod holders you're gonna need for this. Now, what I'm using are uh, Scotty's. Uh, so I'm using the Scotty bases and the Scotty rod holders, and they're actually screwed into the, uh, the hulls of the, uh, of the boat. And I believe I'm using number 12 sheet metal stainless steel screws, and that seems to work pretty well.
a lot of times uh, with umbrella rigs, I just use the wires at the top to lift the fish down. You gotta be careful because there's, uh, there's some extra hooks there. And you know, sometimes you catch two or three at the same time, but that works pretty good. Sometimes I'll use a gripper. Uh, most of the time, I, I just return them. Here's a great example of why you need good rod holders. This feels like a little bit bigger fish. Don't get caught up when you're fighting these fish and forget which direction the boat's going. So. It's nice to have that remote because I can make minor adjustments. Typically, the best advice is just to go to open deep water. And uh, the boat will keep going at two and a half, so you're you're probably not going to get the other pole tangled up. Now, sometimes you get a fish on, on both poles. That's a striped bass, or what we call a striper. Some people call them rockfish. Uh, the fish weighed 11 pound, 12 ounces, so that's a pretty good fish. Well, here's another one on. You know, it's getting later in the morning and it's a, a weekend day, so uh, the pleasure boaters will be on the lake shortly. So it's about time to head for the boat ramp. While I'm fighting this fish, let's talk about how the whole trip worked out, all right? Right after this, the battery ran down, so I got four hours of use on a 100 amp lithium battery, and it was a battle board uh, at, at, at two and a half miles an hour, so I basically trolled for 10 miles. Now, I thought that was really, really good. Now, don't leave yourself stranded, so I keep a separate 30 amp lithium battery for the electronics, and I use these SAE connectors, so I just took that battery and plugged it in, and that was plenty of power to get back to the boat ramp. And I also have another 30 amp lithium battery stored on the boat with an SAE connector, so I technically could probably troll six hours if I had to. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.